Hi everyone, welcome to GoFry's YouTube channel and in this video, I'm going to show you what's it like to install the Ryzen Threadripper processor. Now, it's not like the usual Ryzen 7 or any other processor where it just involves unlocking a bit. The Ryzen uh, Threadripper processor involves many steps which includes slotting in on the processor, closing it and having to screw the three points before you can even run it. Now, let's have a look at this process in greater detail right after this. Right, so here it is the TR4 socket for the AMD Ryzen Threadripper and as you can see now, I'm inserting the processor into the tray and you need to do so until it clicks, means you push it in until it clicks, then have the lid closed. Now once this is done, use the wrench or should I say screwdriver that comes as part of the package to secure it. Secure it from the bottom screws first and then after that secure the one on the top and finally evenly tighten all of them till the Ryzen Threadripper is properly in place. On motherboards like the ASUS Zenith Extreme that I'm using, there is an indicator that tells you that the processor is not properly secured and all you need to do is tighten every screw to make sure that it is secure and once the indicator is off, you can place your cooler on it and all is good, get it up and running. And just in case you didn't know it yet, the wrench and the AIO cooling system bracket comes as part of the Ryzen Threadripper package. Alright, so that's it for this video. Now, don't get worried about this because for the average user, you just install it once and get it up and running, no problem. It's just like for us reviewers and the, and the, the reviewing process, for example, as you um, see in even, even the unboxing, whatever else. Well, during the process of reviewing, we sort of eyes we as in general reviewers of course when you have two processors we'll be swapping it around you know you test the frequencies maybe you forgot to do another some benchmarks then during this uh, swapping process uh, if you really forget something it's like ah no i have to go through the process of uh, um, doing all that all over again so all right that's it for this video i hope you guys like it and do subscribe to this channel if you haven't and i'll see you in my upcoming videos thank you for watching bye bye